Okay, this is slime 17 K. Um, this is a continuation of J. Um, J I had to divide it into two because it was too big. Okay, it was already a 20 minute video. I didn't want to make it any longer. So line 17K is about the electron volt joules UFO engine C6 EQUJ5 neutrino well study. It's part 89. It's based on the math equation from line 17, which is 14, 1, 1, 13, 2, and 1. Okay, so we're going to learn a bit about what an electron volt is. In physics, the electron volt is a unit of energy equal to approximately 1.602 times 10 minus 19 joule. Symbol J. By definition, it is the amount of energy gained by the charge of a single electron moved across an electric potential difference of one volt. Thus, it is one volt. There's the mathematical thing. Therefore, one electron volt is equal to that. Historically, the electric volt was devised as a standard unit of measure through its usefulness in electrostatic particle accelerator sciences. Because a particle with charge Q has the energy of E equals QV after passing through the potential V. If Q is quoted in integer units of the elementary charge and the terminal basis involves one gets an energy of EV. The electron volt is not an SI unit and its value must be obtained experimentally. Okay, so I'm not going to read all this stuff here. It's a common unit of energy within physics widely used in solid state atomic, nuclear, and particle physics. And it has atomic properties like the ionization energy often quoted in electron volts. In chemistry, it is often useful to have the molar equivalent. That is the energy that would be produced by one mole of the charge. Again, that's under electron volt on wiki. So the 60QUJ5, um, the hydrogen line megahertz is 1420.4057577. They want to look for the hydrogen line. That's the, the, the signal that you want to look for if you're looking at radio signals because that's where aliens would communicate, supposedly, because that's where the WOW study signal came in on. And January 20, 2012, 10.14 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, my thoughts. E is talking about neutrino particles going faster. J5 joules is, which comes up in this definition for the electron volt, which is the speed they are measuring the neutrinos to see what is the fastest speed it can go. So the J5 I'm talking about came up, and this is the the wow signal. That was the equation that came up on that wow study signal. So the study of how to accelerate its speed, the answers might be in the data provided here in this well study 1977 alien contact radio signals mathematical equations. I am beginning to see that how things are fitting, fitting in together. Over 70 videos to get to that point. Actually, we're at 89. Yeah, I added a few in between when I, before I wrote this. As you can see, I've been a busy, busy girl. Take a look at line seven's videos and notes for more about this signal and how I break down each letter in it. I'm talking about the uh, 6EQUJ5 signal. I took each letter and Googled them to find out if they had anything to do and uh, what they mean. So, and um, and some it has a many of them have relations to logarithms in G. And I did a WordPress thing about on uh, the Victoria Stafford site. It's called Line 7. It's called Alien Well Logarithms, Jules Leonard Euler Law of Kepler Orbital Period Hipparchus Earth Axis Surveying Okay, so January 14, 2012 was the one I posted it, right? So if you were to go to my calendar and click on January 14th, it brings up everything that I blogged that day. And you can look for it there and, and all the lines. I started them, so that's a good way to if you want to go to the very beginning of the well signal you just backtrack and January 13th so it looks like I started but I, I know I started this back in January is when I started first blogging about the whole thing so one electron volt equals 1.602 times 10 minus 19 joules 
And quote, the electron or electron volt is used to measure energy. Okay, we already read all that before, right? So I Google electron volt to power a rocket jet propulsion because I want to know if electron volts is in engines, okay? It says 1,280 volts of electric potential from NASA innovative engines. So they're, they're talking about um, innovative engines here. And it came, the government, a uh, NASA government site came up. A neon propulsion system converts power from the spacecraft power system into the kinetic energy of an ionized gas jet. When the ion, ion engine is running, electrons emitted from a cathode strike atoms of exon knocking. At the rear of the chamber is a pair of metal grids that are charged with 1,280 volts of electric potential. So in the EM propulsion, 50 years in the making, NASA scientists, so they've actually been working on it for 50 years, and that was as of April the 6th, 1999. EON propulsion system on Deep Space One is the culmination of over 50 years of development on electric engine systems in space. <laughs> Isn't that something else? It took them 50 years to figure out how to put their Deep Space One into space and get it to fly around up there. My thoughts, the crop circle that celebrated 50 years, was it at the same time as this invention of 50 years, the end propulsion system on Deep Space One? I, I haven't looked that up yet, but maybe you guys want to take a look at that. I still have to find that actual crop circle. I'll probably come back to this, to the crop circles. So I'm going to make a note here for line K, crop circle. And we want to look up the 50 year celebration. There was a crop circle that said 50 years on it and had it facing an alien. He said he was from the location of the Pegasus region. And uh, I want to know if it's got anything to do with this Deep Space One taking 50 years. Like it was a congratulation note from him saying, hey, congratulations, you finally figured it out. You know, just to be sarcastic. Anyways, okay, we're going to go on to 17L. And I believe that's a longer one. Yeah. Uh, oh, this is the fun one. You're going to love this one. This has got all sorts of cool stuff that came up on it. You're not going to believe what we're going to tell you. <laughs> 